criminal not to go for it. I'll be the right club today. Yes guys, welcome back to Seb on Golf and welcome back to Celtic Manor. I filmed a few videos here recently. This one is another of the shot for shot series. Myself as a four handicapper trying my absolute best to shoot under par. The, the last time I did this was at Hadley Wood and I got pretty close but the style of video showing every single shot with some commentary over the top was one you guys seem to really, really like. So uh, hopefully you'll like this one as well. If you do enjoy the video, please do drop a like on it. Of course, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. Had a massive growth on the channel recently after the recent Sidemen video. So welcome to anybody who's watching for new. If you are new, please do consider subscribing. And don't forget to leave a comment with any feedback you have got. Trying to make this series as best I can. So without any further ado, let's get on to the first tee at the glorious 2010 course at Celtic Manor. Nice, fairly, fairly soft start here, to be honest at the 2010 course, just get, get a driver in play, set up a pretty medium range shot in, We're playing away. downwind. And the biggest thing about the Gisk golf course today, the biggest challenge I was gonna to face today was the weather. It did ebb and flow and come in and out, but at its worst, it was rainy, it was wet, it was incredibly windy, and it really does gust here at Celtic Manor. And you'll see that later in the video, it got very, very tricky. Uh, but did have a nice little birdie putt on the first, but never really gave that one any sort of chance of going in. Pretty poor birdie putt, to be honest, and now had a little bit of work to do to tidy up my par. Managed to make that one and off we go. And you can see I'm playing with a few of the guys from my golf game show series. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. This was episode three with the Owen, Emma and Guy. So you see a few of those guys in the background here. Second hole par five. Ah. Little shout of four for me there because it did hit a cart path and bounced towards some other people. Wow, we're down there now. Yeah, it's gone a long way down there. There was some really, really thick stuff on the right, but very fortuitously for me, it was ground under repair. They were just about to host, obviously, the Welsh Open, part of the European Tour UK Swing. So I got a nice little drop there into the slightly shorter rough, and it was a little hybrid down there. Still at 2.30. Landed in the bunker and bounced out. Take did that. land in that greenside bunker and popped on top, which meant it wasn't a great line. This was actually a little bit soggy here, uh, and I did catch it a bit heavy chunked that one down there missed opportunity to get close for birdie 22 feet and you can just see the wind picking up now in the background gave this one a bit of a better go but again not quite online but it should have been a pretty simple tap in five and let me see as you'll see in this video those little things we bring the ball out i did really struggle with them today you'll see there's some quite funny moments coming up here anyway hole three 176 yards out of four iron here into the breeze and I've played a lovely draw, I'll be honest. I was playing that out to the right towards the tree to try and draw it back in towards the middle of the green. And actually, I it a little heavy for running, overdid it. Dry. Overdid it and it's I'm gone left. <laughs> and um, yeah, well, most important thing is it did stay dry. Just missed the green left. And now I had a bit of work to do to save par. Got my weight forward and this time I did clip it quite nice and that one just trickled down. And at one point, I thought it might have had a chance, but it did hold up. Simple tap in par. Hole four, back into the breeze. Last time I did this style of video at Hadley Wood, was driving it very, very well. My driver was working quite well again today. This one was playing straight into the wind and I had, well, 220 yards left in. And really all I'm trying to do here was just get it towards the hole. Over the hill, I had no idea where it was going, or where it was gonna go. And look at that, I said I had 60 yards into the green. Little 50 degree high toe wedge for me here. And got this one nicely up towards the hole. Little left, but not too bad. Chance to save par. Now the wind was picking up to such an extent here where I actually did have to allow for a bit of wind in the break here, as you can hear it bustling through now. And just never really gave it enough. Not the right line, the wind probably did even more. And that is going to be a bogey. We go one over par. And yet again, I struggle with the flag contraption to get the ball out. <laughs> what an idiot. Hole five. Now this is a tricky hole here. I was a bit brave and I tried to sort of go straight over that right bunker, but it was downwind and it did go all the way through and I couldn't really see where it was. I was a little bit worried about this to be honest. It was a good hit, but I mean, just look at the wind now. It was absolutely blowing a gale out there. 
and I had gone through the fairway and I've got a pretty juicy lie. I'm now playing over the water out of a bit of thick rough. Very undulating green. Now I'll be honest, I sort of got that one a bit higher in the face and it only just got over. And I know it. And now I had this very tricky putt for birdie, realistically just desperate to try and two putt this. And it was on its way, it was breaking back towards the hole. Pretty good strike, but just going back down the hill, needed to settle a bit and left a little testy three and a bit foot of a par that I did make fairly well. It's really a typical thing for me, driving it well and putting it well. It's normally the in-between that's the issue. If I can get the irons going, I can shoot a low number. This wind is absolutely gusting. I think it's at least 87 miles per hour today. Now, in truth, it's probably gusting at 30 or 40 miles an hour. Straight off the left here, all the way towards this ocean here at Kelty Manor. My strategy, straight at that bunker. If it goes in it, it goes in it. It won't be wet. I don't think... I can go over it. The wind's helping a bit now. Show the bunker. Yeah, the wind was helping a little bit behind it, majorly off the left here. My plan was just hit it at that bunker. I didn't think I could get to the bunker with the wind. It was about 260. And I did push it a bit, but it was a fairly good strike. And the wind did just move it away. Just very dangerously close to the water oh, there. Oh, did stay dry though. Now left 120 in. Normally a sort of distance I could be pretty aggressive with with a wedge. And once again, I've just fanned it, guys. I've just fanned it. The pin was on the left. I was probably worried about overdrawing it. Skinny, pushy one out to the right. Not my best. And long, long birdie putt again here. This is the issue. The approach play just doesn't take advantage of good drives. Having to oh, two putt from long range to just try and save par in the end which we just about did. And a little bit more trouble with the uh, flagstick here, Sevi. You'll figure it out, mate. Keep trying. Hole seven, five iron. Mid iron again, again, not really a strength of mine. And there we go. There we go. Almost a shank, guys. Absolutely miles off to the right-hand side. Oh, I've just fanned one. Fanned one, you did. And look at this. Did have a shot. Had to go up quickly out of the juicy rough. Wet grass. Never know quite how it's going to come out. But that is the best example of my game you can see. Terrible iron play. Nice little solid short game. And can the putter save me once again? Six foot for par. There you go. That whole, honestly, that sums up my golf game in one hole right there. Terrible iron shot. Save it with a short game and a putter. But again, it's just pars, it's not birdies. That's why I'm a four handicap, not scratch. Basically, right, because of that. Hole eight, par four. Again, another good solid drive right down the middle. Left a shortish 110 yard shot in, which I hit pretty good. This one was on a great line. We like that one. Sets up a birdie putt. On its way, tiny bit push maybe, I'll say there. Pushed it a bit, was a fairly straight putt. Another par, we stay one over. So bad, isn't it? 28 handicap for that. Getting a ball out the hole, 28 handicap today. Ninth hole, 580 yards, big par five this. Water left and right, a very, very good drive from me there. Just over the bunkers yeah, on the right hand there. side. Oh, well played. Okay, I've hit that. Just about as good as I possibly can. Downwind, still got 300 yards into this par five. Actually, I'm gonna hit three wood, try and get it past these first sets of bunkers and leave sort of like a mid wedge shot in and try and make up and down for birdie. I'm just gonna, I don't think there's, it's worth laying up. I think I'm just gonna hit it around that there with the three wood. So that was the strategy, just to get it down as far as I can, but did leave it out there once again. It was dangerously close towards those bunkers, but did just about manage to miss them. Actually okay. So scared of the pull hook left there. I've left another one out there right. Where was I aiming there? That's another thing that does cost me sometimes. Alignment can get a little out to the right. Wind off the right, slope above feet. It's all about getting good contact here. Some of these juicy lies out of the second or sort of light rough. But again, 125 yards in, just to try and get up and down for birdie. And another one came out of the face. 
high. Just a bit juicy, not quite getting good solid contact on it. I'm dancing, but I'm barely here the needed it. 78 feet, I mean, goodness me. Just give it a whack, Seb, and hit and hope. The pace was delightful. It's the tiniest par putt to save. Thank you very much. The par? That flag is a mug game today, let me tell you. Yeah, back right from a back to front green. Was trying to just put this one out to the left over those bunkers. Exactly what I did. Pushed it, okay, lost a bit of distance, yeah, ended up on a great line. Got away with it. Bit of a lucky boy there. Not a great shot. But once again, a long way from the hole. Very tough to go under par when you're putting from this far away because all you're really going to do is just every now and then set up these testy par saving parts. Another one I've got now. Opportunity on the par fives because the middle shot, the longer iron, isn't as important if I'm not going for it in two and I probably wasn't on this hole. So hopefully could leave a, a wedge in and try and set up a, a shorter range birdie putt. Overall. It was another driver hybrid down there. Solid strike, that one better this time. Thank you. Did leave almost 100 yards on the nose. And we were having a bit of fun. This is Some of these holes were part of the challenge we did for the game show episode. And Emma was giving me a bit of stick there. So I was dancing and uh, she gave me a bit of stick and she fired me up and I'm letting her know it there. It was good fun. Which meant now, another putt for birdie. This was an important one in the match. Birdie putt for me. I had one eye on the match, one eye on my score, because I knew I was filming this video as well. And this time, converted. Mate, diamond. What pressure does, Emma? And I was sure to let Emma know about it. Boom. And oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, Every now and then I lose a driver right. left. Nowhere near as they splash. used to go left, but that one was splash. And now I'm in all sorts of trouble. One, seven, eight. Four iron. Brought all the weaponry over. Had a full four iron here. Over water. Had to be very, very brave. But I knew I was on a half decent score, so I took it on. Sure, yeah. No, it's up. Yeah. Cool, I like that one. That was one of my better iron shots, that's for sure. Really not strength on my game. So every time I get one away flush on a long iron, I'm very, very happy boy. 25 feet. I thought I had it, and I often do do that with my putter. I've got that out to win putting stroke. Looks like I'm sort of slicing them in. It's something I've always had, and traditionally is quite a good part of my game, so I'm reluctant to change it. Nearly got away with one there, and slightly improved there with the uh, ball retrieval. 13th hole, par three. Another solid iron stroke. Couple in a row there. Very pleasing. That one, the six iron, sets up this birdie putt which wasn't great. Little pull towards the left, uh, but solid enough par. Checking that alignment once again on the 14th. Good little hole this. Plan was to just whack one over the water. Did not want to turn this one over left either. And that was better. I think sometimes the over pull is where my hands come on a little bit inside or my alignment is too far to the right and I've got a bit of a double cross with my shoulder line and my feet line. So getting that right was very important and nice solid shot down the fairway. Left a shorter shot in, 115 yards. Could be aggressive here. But it was not a fantastic strike. Not quite as bad as some of the other ones, but just a bit out to the right. Didn't really get through the ball. And the birdie putt was on its way. Can we get back to level? No. And the tiniest bit of work left. And in the game here, Emma didn't give it to me. So I had a bit of fun with it here. Did a little no look. And that was risky. I regret doing that now. Because if that misses, you look like such a fool. But we got away with it. Okay, guys. This is it. Hole 15. 
This is the one you can cut the corner on. Now this tee box is close today, so we're not going to play off it. We're going to play just next to it because we want to try the shot. The sensible play is just a little iron up and a wedge on, but there is a gap through the trees. You can see it's 245 yards playing uphill, playing about 250 to cut the corner straight through the gap in these trees onto there. It would be criminal not to go for it. Wish yeah, it's that. not every day you get a chance to play holes like this. You've got to take it on when you can. Plus, the driver's a good, good club of mine. I was fairly confident with this one to give it a chance. I'll be the right club today. And I loved it. As you can see, oh. that one pitched not a million miles from the flag. I mean, it's the rolled through the now. back. The the green. No idea where it goes. We've got a camera up there. Hopefully you caught it. Eagle putt. Coming up. Good old hit and it's on its way and it's starting to break back, you know, for the big bird. Was not to be, but that is going to be the easiest of tap-in birdies and we get back to level par. Okay. 16th hole. This is the hole where Graham McDowell made that historic Ryder Cup winning putt. He's going to play an absolute beast today. 477 yards straight into the stiffening breeze. Thin, but it's straight. That is going to be a long way in from there. Indeed, it is, Sebi. A long way in. 230 yards into the wind, playing about 250, 260. I don't even know why I hit three wood here. I was just trying to get it near the bunkers. Get it down. Do you know what? I'm, I'm not dis disgusted with it. Indeed, Take. in the sand. And I don't mind wet sand. I feel like if it's compact, it's not the easiest thing, but at least you know it's going to be a consistent lie. You're going to get the same all the time. And I ran up the hill to get a look at that. I was very happy with that result. Left a pretty testing one, seven foot down the hill on, that f on this famous green. Could I make another one and save par with only a few holes to go? Oh yes, a little fist pump as well. It's a par five to finish. So there is a chance here to go under par, guys. There is a chance. Can we do it? Come on, Sebi. Another long iron though. Could I get a good strike away? And yeah, absolutely. Towards this back nine, the iron play was a lot stronger. This was a really good shot. It was oh, up no, on the back shelf. shelf. It's going to be a long putt once again. Get it that far. Into the wind. I didn't expect to be able to get that far with a four iron, but I had come all this way back. And look at this, 67 feet. Goodness me. Are you going to go back? Double correct? break here, out to the right, back in, mm, starts to leak back, back does it? No. Another testing pass save, to stay level par. Boom. I was making those clutch five, six, seven back. foot putts for par very well today. Again, traditionally what I tend to do if I'm putting well. So this is it, the last hole. Absolute beast, no way I'm getting there in two. Got off to a good start there with the driver, down there. And this was going to be a hybrid, just playing for position, trying to leave myself probably somewhere around 100 yards back up the hill. Played so well today. A few silly shots, obviously, but let's finish strong. 100 yards on the money, up the hill. Glorious finishing pole, this is. Fifty degree high toe up into the sky on a half decent line. What's the length like? It's okay. okay. It's okay. okay. We've got a chance, guys. This is it. The putt to go under par in front of that glorious fountain. Come on, Sebi. The ball's off towards the setting sun. Is it gonna get there? Oh, you've got to oh. get there, Seb. For under par. That off. is disappointing, but. Level par, it's better than the last time we did this format at Hadley Wood. Uh, once again, better than my handicap. I've got to be pretty pleased with it. Guys, I hope you did enjoy that video. If you did, please do drop a like on it. If you have made it all the way to the end, leave me a comment down below and let me know what was your favourite shot of the day. What other golf courses would you like to see me take on at this format? Would you want to see more of this format? You guys seemed to like it last time. Hopefully you did this time as well. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you again soon.